Oh, you want to do my intro with me? Yeah. Hi, okay. sister. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, hey guys. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. channel. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here today with my niece. Hi. For today's video, as you can tell by today's title, it's gonna be a story time. So go get your snacks, mm -hmm. go get a drink, and just sit down, relax, and watch this video. Also, um, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a gingerbread house, okay? Mm -hmm. Because Christmas is literally tomorrow, okay? Mm. Oh my God, the gingerbread is so cute. The little gingerbread house. I know. It smells good. Yeah, it does. I have two cats. Rolling Loud. Oh my god. I don't even know where to begin. Rolling Loud was freaking hectic. First and foremost, I did not know what to wear. I had this idea of like um, designing my own clothes to uh, wear there. And that was just a fail because last minute um, things fell apart. So. I had to just wear what I had and um, I bought stuff like in LA to wear there as well. Okay, so yeah, let's fast forward. Now that we're in LA, um, we're on our way to the like Rolling Loud um, place and the people I went with was uh, my brother and his girlfriend. So it's just us three and we're just driving around trying to find a parking. Mind you, there's, there's parking spots but they're like $60, like you're tripping. No one wants to pay $60 to park here. Like, and that, that was the closer ones there. And so we're still driving, I swear we drove around for like, I wanna say 30 minutes, probably like an hour, maybe two hours of just driving around, trying to find a parking. And finally, we were almost uh, gonna find this parking. My brother's girlfriend was the one driving the car and she, she decides, to um, make an illegal turn. When she did this turn, she hit a curb, right? And that curb blew out. We thought one tire at the time, one fucking tire, no. She blew out the two back, to, two tires on the right side, on the passenger side. When she did that, I was like, oh my God, how the fuck are we gonna get back home? Like I wasn't even tripping off rolling out no more. That shit was out the window. like. I was like, how the fuck are we gonna get back home? And I'm sorry, I was low-key like, like low-key yelling at her, but not like yelling and yelling. I was just like, what the fuck? Like, what did you, why, why, why did you do that turn? Like, what the fuck were you thinking? <sighs> That's not even the funniest part. Now that our tires are blown out, um, she's like, okay, what, what, we, we could just go to a tire shop. The tire shop's like six minutes away. So we're all like, okay. So <laughs> She's just driving on fucking, what are they called? Rims? Yeah. Okay, so. The tires are rims. Yeah, she, the tires are blue out. So at this point, she was literally just driving on the rim. And it's so embarrassing because we were literally like, we were in the middle of like rolling, the rolling loud, uh, you like enter. So it's like packed with like people. And everybody we were passing, they were just like, your tires are popped. Dude, like we so fucking annoying. know. It won't even come out that much. It won't? Mm -mm. I'm just gonna cut it. <laughs> okay, I messed it up. Well, it's alright. And then finally we get to this tire shop. And oh my god. Look how, how the first tire looked. I'll have it like on the next slide or somewhere around here. Oh my god. So that was at the time when we thought it was just one tire. And then the guy's like, no, it's actually two tires. Mind you, they were they were hella taxing at this tire shop. I don't know who the fuck they thought we were, but why was it this price? Perfect, my thing went away too. The what? Hey y'all, so now we're just leaving the tire shop that's mad expensive, don't come here. Go go find a little Mexican shop. <laughs> Anyways, how does, how does the driver feel? <laughs> Let's turn it back over. Let's check on the driver. <laughs> Wait, there's a story in that. Area. Let's let's hear from the driver before you go mm. off. Um, driver? No comment. What did you do? No comment. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> driver, what happened? What happened? Explain your know. story. What happened? I don't know. It just went boom boom. <laughs> <laughs> it went what? <laughs> 
Now her nickname is Curb, apparently. Curb, Curb apparently. Anyways, so yeah, catch y'all at Rolling Loud. We're still going. 36, 30, Turn that time. 30. So yeah, after that, um, day one was pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about Rolling Loud, let me just get into that. Um, if for for those of you that have never like went and probably want to go in like the future, um, just be prepared. Um, this is what I'm talking about. The crowds are fucking like it's packed. One, like I'm talking about, packed, packed, packed. Everyone's like this close to each other. Like it is. So yeah, be prepared for that and people push, people will step on you and people will jump on you. And also, watch out for the mosh pits because once again, they don't care about you. They will jump on you. They will pull you, push you, do all that to you. They weren't doing that to me because I was I was like holding on to my brother. <laughs> I wasn't gonna let nobody push me. Yeah, so day one, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I got to see Young Thug uh, hella close. I pushed my way up hella close to see Young Thug, okay? So yeah, Rolling Loud is pretty good, but I suggest if you're gonna go, get VIP. The next year when I go again, I'm getting VIP. VIP was lit, like it looked like nobody was in it. So, And it looked like people weren't pushing and shoving each other. So I suggest getting VIP. And let me talk about the prices of the food. Um, Stuff is like 15 and up. Waters are $5. Like they were tripping. For a little Dasani, they were tripping. The first day I lost my voice because like I was like dehydrated and I was screaming. Yeah, that was day one. Day two, we were just like chilling around LA. We didn't really care too much, honestly. We were we were honestly over it when when day two came. Like we were so late. I wanna say we saw like four people. Rules that Rolling Loud had no one fucking followed them okay well we did we had like a clear bag and all that but there was a lot of people that went in with like um different colored bags and like water bottles and stuff like that so now i know next year i could just come in with however they don't even check pockets they just have you go through like one little security system thing but like it didn't buzz off for anything their security stuff sucked um, oh my god, it's so crazy. I saw like at least three people pass out and I saw like five different fights happen. It was wild mm -hmm. out there. It was so wild. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, I thought because oh my god, it was so packed and uh, my brother and his girlfriend kept like pushing up at one point and then like I found like a certain spot for like me to have room to dance and stuff and I was chilling with like these group of girls. And so I was like, they could keep moving up because I'm not going to be like all squished and like shoved in one little like bubble with like a whole bunch of people. Like I didn't want to do that. And when they were up there, there was like a fight that had happened like right next to them. And I started tripping because I thought like, because it was like a group of guys and there was this one dude in like a white sweater that, that was fighting. Mind you, my brother was in a white sweater. So I was like, oh, wow. I started like pushing through hella people. I was like, where the fuck's Jordan? I was like, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. And then I just see him like on the side with his girl i was like oh uh, let me calm down, down. <laughs> i i got i got so hot because like i almost blacked out because i i was like oh my god is that my brother i'm sorry to the people that i pushed and shoved oh my god it was crazy it was crazy and it's like draining as hell oh my god they came out good this is not even good icing i know it falls off hecka quick and it don't even like go on yet look right, let's talk about our paranormal experiences okay so what happened in my last video it was tripping me out there's a lot of weird things that's been happening in this room <laughs> ever since i've noticed that in my um and it's probably gonna do it again so yeah every time and it's weird no one's probably gonna believe me but it's okay i'm not making this up every time i'm sleeping i can't sleep facing this way like facing this wall because I always hear fucking noises over here. And the noises are like. Yes! Okay, I swear. No. So I've been having That's to like scary. sleep on this side and I hate sleeping on um my left side. It's just uncomfortable for me. And it's only been happening ever since I filmed that video. So I don't know if I activated something when I started talking about it. I'm no. not gonna lie, I hear noises in the bathroom all the time. Like when I'm taking a shower, I hear like people talking to me. What? Like I hear like like people like whispering something. Whispering like, they're what? They're saying like my name. 
What the hell? No, for real, mean? I'm not joking around. Like, I actually hear my name getting called. Dude, when I was in the bathroom, I heard a name, like, say it clearly loud. And then I went out to the living room one time, and then I was like, did you guys call me? They were like, no. It's weird. That's so weird. Yeah, a lot of weird stuff's been but happening. But I'm telling you. Tell them the story. It, so, on the first picture, my mom told me to take when she was wearing my grandma's jacket, and it was, like, her mom's jacket, basically. And I kind of got freaked out, but it was, like, this weird like shadow on the jacket and it was only in the first picture and then after that it disappeared it could have been the glare like of like when you take the, the picture flash. yeah like the flash it was there on the jacket and then it just all of a sudden like wasn't there in the other pictures that's, that's weird. weird but um no i don't think it's that i think it's something else because at my old house uh there was like this story and um i'm gonna oh, get yeah. into it okay so when my uh when my other niece was like in my room there was this one night and it was so fucking weird. Okay, so they had, she was in the, oh, oh. <laughs> Everyone else in the house was like ready, already asleep because it was late as fuck. I wanna say it was like, it was gonna be like three o'clock. I think I heard it first because she had had, uh, she put her earphones in. She put, yeah, she put, she put her earphones in because she always sleeps with music. Mm -hmm. um, she still does that. Yeah, Perfect. yeah, she's already trying to fall asleep and I'm hearing tapping, I'm hearing knocking noises like in my closet. No, at first I didn't get scared. I was just like, who's knocking? I text, uh, I text my nephew. I was like, cause he was in the other room. So I texted him, I was like, hey, are, are you knocking? He's asleep. So he didn't fucking answer. Still, and the knocking's still going on. I'm talking about like, like basically on your wall, like, basically knocking. Uh -huh. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, the So yeah, it kept going on. Jaden, uh, my nephew didn't text back, so I got a little scared. And I started getting scared because I was like, it's quiet in the house. Um, nobody's awake. Nobody's awake. On She's over here going to sleep. Like, so I woke her up, and I'm like, Niana, my niece. I'm like, Niana, tell me if you hear that. And so. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't start again to like another, like, I want to say. Maybe when she fell back asleep, they probably didn't want her to hear. No, it was like another minute and she was, she stayed up and she heard it and me and her started like tripping. Um, she went in the other room. She was like, um, everyone is asleep. Yeah. And then when she said that, my heart dropped my heart fucking dropped because i got so scared but like i didn't want to be too scared because i'm like she younger than me so i want to be i just you're just trying to keep it cool like you're just i'll try to keep it cool and oh during God. that time right when she said everyone was asleep in the other room we put on some gospel music and we started praying we stayed up for like an hour oh and i also lit an incense because i thought i looked up online like that's that's a good way to like get rid of something yeah ever since that nothing else happened like i didn't hear no more tapping noises our gingerbread house it it like it wasn't working at yeah. all so yeah. i had to break out the nail glue okay so we, we can't eat this so we can't eat it basically yeah it came out good it came out good we had to use a lot of nail glue and half of the time it wouldn't stick so we had to hold it like for about maybe 20 minutes what yeah, and it made a mess. Yeah, it, her it's bed a mess is on my bed a right mess now. right now. This is how you know our real like gingerbread house didn't go well because we didn't even we use half of yeah. the stuff. <laughs> That's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed the story time yeah. slash building a gingerbread house with us. Yeah. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you're turning on your post notification bell to stay updated with me. Mm -hmm. And some, yeah, some good videos. Eh. Have a Merry Christmas, all right? Yeah, have a good Christmas. Have a good New Year's. Yeah. I'll see y'all in the next decade, maybe. So, Who knows? Yeah. Maybe I'll get another video out. Who knows? So, yeah. See y'all in the next video. Yeah. Bye, you guys. Ah.